Manuel Ugarte could be the most important and best signing of the Ten Hag era at Manchester United. Welcome back to Good Sport Reviews. If you are new around here, please make sure to click like and subscribe. We want to get to 3,000 by the end of the year, and you guys are the only way that that can happen. Man United have smashed this transfer window, let's put it bluntly. They've signed Delat, Lenny Yoro, Xerxy, uh, Maz Rawi, and one player they have just signed going to fix their midfield issues is Manuel Ugarte, the 23-year-old PSG midfield destroyer. And the reason for this is because Man United have serious issues in midfield. As we've seen, especially over the past 12 months, content creators, pundits, Jamie Carragher being the most vocal of all of these people, questioning Ten Hag's tactics, especially in the middle of the park. Jamie Carragher said that the club are trying to do two things at once, with the side playing a high press and a deep back line, leaving enormous spaces in the midfield and exposing themselves to counter-attacks. And we saw this plenty last season, with United conceding the second most shots, only above bottom placed Sheffield United who conceded 100 plus goals and the main reason for this is because they lacked a real defensive minded in the middle of the pitch as Casemiro's legs have certainly declined from his first season at the club. Now while Casemiro was at one stage arguably the best number six in the world, the best defensive midfielder, he has majorly declined and last season he produced the lowest recoveries, aerial duels won and tackles of his career, not just at United including Real Madrid. So in order to correct this problem, the club have looked to one of the hottest midfield commodities in Europe, well, Ugarte. And if you don't think he's that good of a player, then just hear me out. At the French champions, Ugarte was criminally underutilized and quite fit the possession-based style of attacking football. And because of this, he only started 21 of PSG's four matches, coming off the bench a further four times and not featuring at all in the remaining eight, with him being suspended for an extra one. Now keep that in mind when I tell you that Ugarte boasted the most tackles in the French top division last season on an incredible 98, which is more than Fabinho managed during any of his seasons at Liverpool, and more than Rodri has managed during any of his seasons at Manchester City. You're saying, well, yes, it's one thing to be able to tackle in the Premier League, but it's important to be able to distribute the ball and control possession. This hasn't been a style of play so much at PSG. He was still able to produce 1,214 successful passes from 1,331 attempted, which give him a successful pass rate of 91.2, which is actually higher than Zubamendi of Real Sociedad and only 0.3 behind Tony Cruz. Now, yes, they are more adventurous attackers. Ugarte was a bit more of a pass it back control things kind of player but they're still important to a team especially one as chaotic as Manchester United. Another thing to consider is his movement as this Ten Hag side often leaves major gaps in midfield meaning that the more attack minded players have to track back to support the aging Casemiro and Christian Eriksen like we saw last season and with Ugarte who has been compared to N'Golo Kante by Lucas Hernandez they're getting someone who can make up that distance in midfield. Now, another thing which bodes well for Man United is that Ugarte will add their forward-minded pressing. In Liga in last season, Ugarte won possession in the final third 29 times, second in the division. And last season, we saw Man United increase their starting distance during open play sequences to 45 metres, an increase from the season before, where it was 42.7. So clearly, on to press high. And having Ugarte as someone who can help with that will be instrumental in the way they want to play. Because of this, United are going to allow the likes of Maino and Fernandez to actually attack more. Ugarte will be able to help with the forward patterns of play in this team, and that will be massive if they want to get their attack-minded players into the box and creating chances, something they did struggle with at points last season. One prime match to look at for Ugarte's talent is when Arsenal played Sporting Lisbon in the Europa League a few seasons ago, when they went to the Emirates and drew one all and while Ugarte was sent off during this match for a rash tackle on Bukayo Saka he was dominating proceedings ranking the highest in the match for both tackles and dribbles showing his ability to pick up the ball deep and progress play forward while also being able to track back and offer the defense some much needed support. I have been crying out for a true number six for years as when Casemiro joined two years ago he was starting to wind down his career and since Sir Alex Ferguson has left the club here are just some of the number sixes of the club have signed that have not worked. 
Morgan Schneidlin, Nemanja Matis, James Garner, and of course, Casemiro. None of these have worked out, and the club has been trying out for that anchor in midfield for the longest time, which is in front of a back line that consists of the likes of Harry Maguire, Johnny Evans, and at one point, there was no centre-backs there who were capable of defending this team. Now, they just need that little anchor in the midfield to offer that extra layer of protection. United have finally started making signings based around the future of the club and not just what the manager needs. We've seen in the past what happened when United was signing players, specifically managers. You've got Moyes who comes in and signs Fellaini, very much a him signing. Van Gaal comes in, signs a crop of players who are specifically catered to him. Same with when Mourinho came in. So you then get into a situation where Solskjaer has come in and he has this Frankenstein monster of signings, none of whom fit his system. You have to sell, but the players won't move on because of contracts. The club have signed for the future. Xerxy, Lenny Yoro, Delat, Masrawi, they all represent a future that's bright for the club. And Manuel Ugarte is someone who can benefit any manager who takes over at the club. He may not be a creative presser in terms of threading passes through the lines, but as a solid defensive-minded midfielder who can retain possession of the ball and control play, there are a few better in Europe at the moment. And this signing has the potential to be Ten Hag best during his time at Manchester United. I was extremely high with the likes of Anthony there, but he's signing a player who fixes a problem part of the pitch for the club, which they haven't had for a long time. Garte has said himself that he enjoys having that double pivot in midfield alongside him to give him extra support, with PSG utilising a 4-2-4 or a 4-3-3 in attacking build-ups, and players like Maynou and Eriksen will be able to provide that deep level of support while using their attacking talent to progress play up the pitch and utilise Ugarte's defensive attributes to support the backline. Now mark my words, Ugarte will become a success at Manchester United, and I think he's the, in, the main reason United are going to finish in the top four this season. And he will fix a problem part of the pitch that's been there for years, dating back to 2013. And that is my Ugarte video. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Ugarte is going to work? Do you think he's going to flop? I'm hoping he flops, but he probably won't. And click subscribe. We're going to get to 3,000 by the end of the year. So please help to get involved. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.